This video will show you how to measure thin film samples using grazing incidence diffraction method and X-ray reflectivity on the Rigaku Smart Lab. Before starting, first check that the Hypix server is running. This is what drives the detector. There's no password to log into the remote desktop. If the Hypix 3000 window is up and looks like this, you're good to go. Then, check that the IC server icon in the taskbar is blinking green and gray. If it is blinking red, right click on it to restart the IC server. You can now start the Smart Lab Studio 2 software. The password will be given to you during training. Be patient as the software starts. Once the software is up and running, if the X-ray power is not at 40 kV and 44 milliamps, click Run to start the tube power increase. This will take about 15 minutes. Once the tube power is up, you can start your work. Load either one of the package activities or a flow saved in your folder during training. The flow consists of a sequence of activities typically starting with optics alignment, in this case parallel beam PB alignment, which optimize slits and optics. We have a few additional custom alignment steps. Then there is the sample alignment. Click Customize to enter your sample thickness. Then click Set Recommended Values to update the Z range. You can modify other fields as needed. In this case, we are doing the direct beam cutoff alignment as well as the surface normal alignment, which uses reflectivity. Finally, click the General Measurement activity to update the file name and location where you want to save the data. The red icon with the exclamation point indicates that something needs to be corrected. You can change the scan range, step size, and speed. In the Options column, you can set up the Omega Incidence Angle. Once all is set, click the Run Flow icon to run the entire flow. You can also choose to run each step individually or start the flow from a different step by using one of the other two icons. The software asks you to install a few components. Press the rectangular bar to remove the spacer and sample plate, then twist. Twist the sample holder into place and then slide in the slit. The instrument will then go through a number of alignment steps which are fully automated. If the alignment fails, check that you mounted the slit properly. If it is still unsuccessful, Contact a staff member for assistance.
install the PSA 0.5 degree when prompted. Only hold it by the solid sides. It is very fragile. Loosen the set screw, then tilt the PSA open to remove it. Then install the PSA in place. Turn the set screw so it is snug. Do not over tighten. The alignment will then resume. You are now prompted to install your sample. Press the rectangular level again, then remove the sample holder by twisting counterclockwise. Then install the spacer and 4 inch plate with your sample mounted on it, then twist it clockwise to lock it in place. The instrument will now perform the sample alignment with an iterative sequence to give optimal sample surface alignment. You can reduce the number of iteration if you would like when setting up the flow. Finally, we measure the samples pattern. This was a very quick scan. Let's redo it with different parameters. And let's increase the incidence angle. For this sample, the higher incidence angle gives a different pattern, indicating that the surface of the sample is different from the bulk of the film. Now let's measure the reflectivity of the sample. This is a symmetric measurement at very low angles. Hovering over the red icons shows you what values are allowed for this field. For XRR, we want to increase the resolution as much as possible. 
This is done by decreasing the slit size to their minimum. Let's also not forget to remove the omega incidence angle we had in the program. Finally, let's update the file name. We can now run the general measurement step. The signal is very good, but we can probably improve the pattern a little by collecting slower with smaller steps. We also do not need to go the full range, so let's reduce it a little bit. Once done with your measurement, move the instrument back to the home position by clicking the Move to Home Position icon. Then, if nobody else is scheduled to use the instrument for the rest of the day, turn the X-ray power back down by clicking Run in the Shutdown section of the Startup Shutdown panel. Finally, take your sample out and close the software. 